I say probably, I'm not sure what I had first of all in the way of weights, but it wouldn't be very much because I didn't use heavy weights then. But I, pro I progressed to heavy weights as soon as I could get up there because I seemed to feel that that was quite important to be strong, be strong as well as enduring and to be healthy also. And, uh, Bob Hoffman, founder and president of the York Barbell Company, is widely recognized as the father of world weightlifting, the Iron Man of sports and Mr. Softball. Well, I have an idea. I was, I was always in physical fitness. So I was a very, very active boy, and I played played games with all the other boys. And of course, back in those days, it was who could run the longest was most important. And it just happened that I was quite enduring. And it also happened that about the first event I participated in was a a long dis distance run of 10 miles for boys under 16. And although I was just probably around 10, I won the race. Bob has dedicated his life to promoting proper nutrition, exercise, and athletics. Weight training and the sport of weightlifting have been the backbone of Bob's success, both as an athlete and a businessman. One of the things I remember most of all is down one of the uh, big hotels in Philadelphia when I was still using my 105-pound dumbbell. Well, it was four feet long, you could class as a, as a barbell. And I was doing a straddle hop. Before very long, everybody started coming up. The other manager, the bellboys, and so forth said I was shaking the building. They wondered what was going on. Who would ever think that one moderate-sized man and one what we call a small dumbbell could shake a, the Ben Franklin Hotel like it did? But I did. That was one of the things that I remember very well. On frequent trips, whether for business or on U.S. government-sponsored tours, or simply to promote weightlifting, Bob has made many friends in hundreds of countries around the world. He places a high value on these friendships, and the loyalty of his friends and co-workers to him is equally high. Johnny Turpak came to us a very long time ago, and he looks about the same now as when he came there, I have to admit that. We met in 1935. Was it 1935? In uh, Philadelphia during the Junior National Weightlifting Championships. And very shortly thereafter, I came to York and have been here ever since. Bob Hoffman, John Turpak, and many members of the York Barbell weightlifting teams have become famous over the years. Bob's fame as a strong man is enhanced by his prolific writing on subjects including weightlifting, health, and nutrition. Well, I've written a lot that haven't been printed. I've actually written over 100 books. But as far as the ones I could find out here in the library, it's probably only about 70. Mm -hmm. But most of them are good-sized books. In the library here, you'll see these books are four and five hundred pages. This is the room where I've done a lot of my writing. There's nothing, every one of these boxes we have here, and boxes down there, and boxes over here, is enough to make a good sized book. And here's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bob's fame is evident in the hundreds of trophies and awards displayed in his home and office. Well, this one happens to be by the Mack Truck Company. They're from Allentown, you know, and very recently we had a United States Championship with Canada in Allentown. This trophy was given to Bob by the president of the National Nutritional Foods Association. He's my longtime friend. He gave that to me in eight different countries. In other words, he followed me to Mexico, he followed, he followed me to Finland, and he followed me to the countries in between just to give him that same trophy, which is very unusual, but still I appreciated his uh, willingness to travel like that to give me another trophy. There's a story attached to just about everything we have here, and I'm very proud of them and very happy that I've been associated with such people. Weightlifting, nutrition, and softball are major concerns for Bob. In addition to sponsoring many local and traveling men's and women's softball teams, he also sponsors a youth league and has been instrumental in attracting national tournaments to the Bob Hoffman Stadium in York. I think my biggest claim to fame is the fact that I'm accepted as the father of world weightlifting. 
For a while, the Russians thought they had a man who was the father of world weightlifting, but they've finally given up, so I'm very definitely proclaimed to be the father of world weightlifting, which I think is one of my greatest honors.